let's go over how to set up PayPal as a payment method. To find payment methods, go to Settings, then scroll down and click Payment Methods. From here, you'll click Connect to Payment Method, and then we'll click Connect PayPal. Here you'll see a pop-up that shows you'll need to proceed to PayPal. This will take you to PayPal, where you'll need to log in with your PayPal account. Then you'll be taken to a page where you need to grant permission to allow Onares to use PayPal. We'll go ahead and click Grant Permission. And now PayPal will redirect us back to Onares. Now we see we have connected our PayPal account. From here you can select the currency type, and you can set the statement text. To find the credit card statement text, you can click here to follow the support doc. Let's go ahead and walk through how to find this in our PayPal account. First, you'll need to head over to PayPal, then go up to your profile name and click Account Settings. Next, you'll need to click Business Information. Then next to Business Information, we'll click Update. From here, you can scroll down and see your credit card statement name. And if you click Edit, you can change this if you'd like. We'll go ahead and copy ours, and then we'll head back to Onares, and we'll paste it after the asterisk. Now that we've done that, we can set the status to active, and we can choose which properties we'd like to use this payment method with. We'll go ahead and click Save. Now we see PayPal has been added to the list of payment methods. Now let's walk through what this looks like on the guest side. If we go to Settings, then scroll down and go to Hosted Website, and then click on our website, We'll go ahead and click Book Now. I'll go ahead and fill this out as if I were the guest. First we'll select our property, we'll select the arrival dates and departure dates, we'll select the amount of adults, children, pets, and here they'll see all the charge details. I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of the information and move on. Now the guests will be taken to the quote overview screen. They can see all the information about their booking, and they can choose whether or not they'd like travel insurance. This is the same quote and payment area that guests see if you send them a quote or they use your website directly. We'll go ahead and scroll down, and here under How to Pay, we see PayPal as a payment option. We'll go ahead and click Looks Good Finish Booking, and here the guests will fill in all their information. I'll go ahead and do that now, and we'll continue to the renter agreement. Next, the guests will be asked to sign the renter agreement. Then they'll click I accept submit payment. Here they can choose any of the three payment methods that we have in our owner as account. We'll go ahead and select I will pay now via PayPal. And here the guests will be given a checkout with PayPal button. If they click that, they will be taken to a page where they can log in with their PayPal account or they can pay with a debit or credit card. We'll go ahead and log in as if we were the guest. And here they can choose to pay from their PayPal balance or any bank accounts or cards they have set up. We'll go ahead and leave this on balance, then we'll scroll down and click continue. Now they'll be taken to the payment summary. Here they'll see that their PayPal authorization will only be used for the first payment and all future payments and security deposits must be submitted as separate transactions. We'll go ahead and scroll down and click confirm and finalize now. The guests will now see that they're all done and the booking has been saved. They'll also see a message that they need to make sure to pay any future payments and security deposits on the agreed upon dates. And if we go back to Onares, go to Bookings, and then go to that month, we'll see the booking that was just created. And if we click in, we'll see more details here. And if we go to Transactions, we can see the PayPal payment transaction that just occurred. Now let's talk about the differences between PayPal and using a credit card processor. We have a support doc article that talks all about this and we highly recommend you read through this before using PayPal. One of the main differences between PayPal and using a credit card processor is the automation. Using your own credit card processor means you have the guest's credit card on file. This makes the second payment and security deposit automatically happen on the correct dates. This is not the case with PayPal. If you use PayPal, the guests will need to be sent reminders that ask for new card info to process the second payment and security deposit, and any other charges that may come along. Any payment besides the first payment is a manual process that will need to be done by the guest every single time. This is why we highly recommend getting your own credit card processor. The next major reason is direct access to funds. PayPal holds the funds in your PayPal account until you manually withdraw them. You can set up automatic withdrawals, 
but it's not enabled for everyone. Using your own credit card processor means that funds are put into your regular bank account every day based on the settlements for previous days. Also, PayPal rates are high. They charge about 3%, and even with low volume, you can get a credit card processor that'll charge you about 2.6 to 2.7%. Another important note is the standards of capability. You cannot use PayPal as your payment processor if you'd like to use the API with VRBO or Booking.com. You'll still need to get your own credit card processor. But if you'd like to use PayPal with API connections that let you collect payments directly from guests, PayPal offers other types of accounts such as PayPal Payments Pro and PayPal PayFlow Pro. And if you go back to your owner's account, then go to Settings, scroll down and go to Payment Methods, then click Connect to Payment Method, you can see both of those options right here. We highly recommend only using PayPal as a secondary form of payment. Having a credit card processor is much better. It's important to note, when accepting PayPal, the second payment cannot be automatically scheduled. Similarly to checks, a payment reminder will need to be sent to the guest. Let's go ahead and take a look at a guest that paid the first payment with PayPal. Here under the Transactions tab, we can see that this guest has paid with PayPal and they still owe $420. And if we go to the email tab, then scroll down, we'll see payment reminders are scheduled to be sent out 10 days before, five days before, and on the due date, which is the 23rd. We can take a look at the payment reminder by clicking send now, and here we'll see the message that will be sent. We see the guest is notified that their final payment is due by the 23rd, which is 14 days from now and they're given a link that they can click into and make a payment. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Here on the guest side, they're shown how much to pay, which is $420, and below that, they can choose to pay with the credit card processor if you have that set up, they could choose to pay with PayPal like they did the first time, or they can choose to send a check in the mail if you have that set up. We're gonna go ahead and select Pay Now via PayPal. Then the guest will be given a Check Out with PayPal button. Here the guests will be taken into PayPal where they'll need to log in with their PayPal account. I'll go ahead and do that now. Once they are logged in, they will be shown the total amount which they can pay. They can choose to pay from their balance or any banks they have set up. When they are ready, they can scroll down to the bottom and click continue. Now the guest is sent back to the owner's payment summary. Here they are shown the billing details and the booking summary. We can go ahead and scroll down and click Submit Payment. The guest will then see, all done, your payment has been submitted. And now if we go back into Onores and go back to that same booking, then go to Transactions, we'll see both PayPal payments and the guest balance is now zero. Also, if the guest didn't pay the full amount and still had a guest balance, you can request payment by clicking the Request button here, then click Request Payment. You can choose the amount the guest must pay. Typically, you'll select whatever is due at the moment, but you can also choose whatever the guest wants to pay or a specific amount. You can also leave a note, and here's the link that'll be sent to the guest. You can easily compose an email, and if the guest owed a balance, it would be shown right here, and they could click this link, and it would take them to the page that we just went through. That is how to set up PayPal as a payment method in Onores.